blessed sweetest lady, the land of Ave, 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 Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Good morning. We are here to celebrate uh, the remembrance of the most holy name of Mary, the uh, feast that was established after the United Forces of Europe have won against the Turks and uh, uh, Tatars and all the Muslim forces that were entering close to Vienna and the United Forces have fermed them. And the leader of that was the grandfather of Bonnie Prince Charlie, and his name was Jan III Sobieski, John III Sobieski. So if you don't know yet, we are connected, Polish and Scottish, for many centuries, royalty as well. And so we pray through the intercession of the, the most holy name of Mary, because the king, when the pope asked him, what do you want? He said, I know that this victory went through the help of Our Lady, we prayed so uh, thoroughly that she will help and so he asked for that feast day he received that feast day as a bonus and also the church and a nice apartment close to it uh, in Rome but well I want to welcome among us our parishioner Paweł Paul he is the one who used to play with the Polish team a Polish band but now for seven years he's been in Poland for the formation he started in Poznań, but he is now in Radom, and as a deacon, he is waiting for the ordination next May. And we do hope that he will be celebrating one of the first masses here in St. Ninians and Tiruana. And you're more than welcome. I was no first mass for quite a time. Eh? We need to have one, and that's the, uh, that's the joy that we are already anticipating. I am praying today for um, Violetta. Viola is uh, a mother of two, and they were married, and they are from our parish, from the Polish community. She's having a very serious surgery today. A spinal cord, something is not... So we're praying for her and also for the surgeons that they made the right decision. They asked us, and I think the whole family is united with us online, so be assured, modlimy się za was. And, well, at the end, it's also my birthday. So I'm so happy that so many of you have turned uh, to pray and after the Mass, I hope some of you could stay for a cup of tea and some sweets from Torun, uh, ginger bread from Torun. But before we celebrate, we need to recognize that we are sinners, that we are poor, be in front of God, full of mercy. So let us say together, Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that for all who celebrate the glorious name of the Blessed Virgin Mary, she may obtain your merciful favor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. We know that by turning everything to their good, God cooperates with all those who love him, with all those that he has called according to his purpose. They are the ones he chose specially long ago and intended to become true images of his son so that his son might 
be the eldest of many brothers. He called those he intended for this, those he called he justified, and with those he justified, he shares his glory. The word of the Lord. The response to the psalm, I exult for joy in the Lord. I exult for joy in the Lord. Lord, I trust in your merciful love. Let my heart rejoice in your saving help. I exult for joy in the Lord. Let me sing to the Lord for his goodness to me, singing psalms to the name of the Lord, the Most High. I exult for joy in the Lord. The Gospel Acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, Holy Virgin Mary, and most worthy of all praise. For the Son of Justice, Christ our God, was born of you. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. This is how Jesus Christ came to be born. His mother Mary was betrothed to, J to Joseph, but before they came to live together, she was found to be with child through the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being a man of honor and wanting to spare her publicity, decided to divorce her informally. He had made up his mind to do this when the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because she has conceived what is in her by the Holy Spirit. She will give, she will give birth to a son, and you must name him Jesus, because he is the one who is to save his people from their sins. Now all this took place to fulfill the words spoken by the Lord through the prophet. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, a name which means God is with us. This is the gospel of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ. So before I came uh, to this Mass, Father asked me to say a short word, like three minute sermon or so. Uh, today we, of course, celebrate the holy name of Mary. And perhaps you know that Mary was considered by the first Christians as the new Ark of the Covenant. And why? Because uh, in the Ark of the Covenant, there were three sacred objects. There was manna from heaven, the tablets of Ten Commandments, and a, ro a rod of Aaron. And when Mary was going to visit her cousin Elizabeth in the hill country of Judea, she was carrying in herself Jesus. And Jesus was the fulfillment of, of those three secret su subjects. So he was the word who became flesh for the Ten Commandments. He was the true bread from heaven for the manna. And he was the true and definite high priest for the rod of Aaron. And perhaps also you know that uh, the Israelites, when they were uh, carrying battles, often they were taking with them the Ark of the Covenant. When they were faithful, they were winning. They were winning with even against overwhelming armies. But on at least two occasions, they took the Ark when they were, they were not faithful to God. And they lost, and they lost even the Ark of the Covenant. I think it is analogy with today, today's feast, because when the Europe was threatened by the Turks, by the Op Ottoman Empire, uh, the United Forces gathered and they fought also devoting the result to the sacred 
to the Holy, to, to the Holy Mary. So she, as the ark, once again, uh, prayed, interceded for those who were fighting in Vienna to save the Christian Europe from the Ottoman Empire. And, you know, what does it mean for our lives? We could say that uh, in the same way like Israelites or uh, in six, 1683, uh, they were calling the name of Mary. They were asking for, the, for her intercession in, for winning this battle. In the same way, we were fighting our battles in our lives. You know, we are, f we are fighting sometimes for our beloved, for our marriages, for our children. So Mary also gives us a, the weapon to, that we, we are able to fight effectively for those people. What is it? It's a rosary, scapular, maybe some Marian devotions. So I invite you to renew your devotion to Mary and to pray for those who are important to you. Also, I hope you, Father, you entrust also your priesthood and your life. And not once and not twice, you also were asking for intercession for Mary to protect you from many dangers. And I hope the Blessed Mary also will give you a lot of graces for your important job here in Edinburgh, in this parish and many other places. And we'll give you the courage and perseverance in the last year of the formation. That's usually the toughest year that's what I remember. Uh, so, Godspeed and may uh, Our Lady, uh, that holy name we celebrate, also helps you to arrive to the ordination and to our first mass in St. Nina and St. Juduana. And now, please stand and Betty will lead the prayer of the faithful from the liturgy of the hour of today. Christ. Christ, the hope of your people. Christ, the hope of your people. Christ, the hope of the people. Lord, graciously hear us. And we pray for Violetta that is undergoing the uh, serious surgery for the surgeons that do it, for her family, for her husband and children. And we also pray for all the needs of the world today. Uh, we pray for the peace in the world and for the end of the war in Ukraine through the intercession of Our Lady, the Ark, Arch of the New Covenant and our uh, secure help. So let's say together, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, to become for us the bread of life. <coughs> Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness 
We have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the intercession of Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, commend our offerings, we pray, O Lord, and may it make us acceptable uh, to your majesty as we revere and venerate her name through Christ Christ. Our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. You truly, even to earth ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the loneliness of your handmaid, you gave us to her, the author of all salvation, your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. To him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim Holy, holy, holy God, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. <coughs> you are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise, for through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy this gift we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate this Eucharist. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Ninian and Triduana, 
and with all the saints on whose con constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis our Pope and our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Przez Chrystusa, z Chrystusem i w Chrystusie, Tobie Boże Ojcze Wszechmogący, w jedności Ducha Świętego, wszelka cześć i chwała przez wszystkie wieki wieku. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. be having the Eucharist as a precious body and blood of Christ, having this opportunity to have a deacon who will serve us in the communion.
Communion Antiphon, all generations will call me blessed, for God has looked on his lonely handmaid. Let us pray. May we obtain the grace of your blessing, O Lord, through the intercession of Mary, the Mother of God, that from her, whose holy name we venerate, we may obtain help in our every need. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We learn today that Mary is the secure help in any difficulty, struggles, and wars. So let's really stick to her as for generations the Christians were doing. And we ask now the God's blessing. And as I said at the beginning, you're all very welcome if you could stop for a while at least to try this famous gingerbread from Torun. It is the Pierniki Toruńskie, famous, and the, one of the co-authors of that was Nicolas Copernicus. Uh, that's so uh, many centuries ago that they started to bake them. They are not as old as, as him, uh, but uh, the older the, uh, the better, they say. So, but they are within the mark of the, of the good to eat. Thank you once again, Paweł, for your presence. And I think we can extend uh, uh, the, our wish to see you as a uh, presbyteroi of the church after the ordination to celebrate the masses uh, for all our beautiful, various and multicultural uh, communities in English and in Polish and another language you know. He knows also, I think, Greek pretty well, very, very, and just a little. Hebrew, just, just Hebrew, just a little. Just a little. Because he's fascinated of the Holy Scripture. That's why I know that. Okay, enough. Everything else will be at the table. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.